Right, everyone turn to this page in your activity book and we have the pictures and I like to use pictures when teaching English because it's not reading, is it? You're just looking at a picture and the words or the sentences, they come in your mind. All right, so it makes you think. If we look at this picture here, we can see a man and a boy. I I think it's father and son. And the father is sitting on a chair and the boy is kneeling. This is called kneeling, not sitting. Kneeling on a rug. They have two cool bags here to keep food or drink cool or fresh and there's some trees so it looks like they're going to have a picnic in a park or somewhere and over here we can see pictures of food or drink and it looks like they are all well no no yeah they're all um countable or uncountable plurals okay so we have two cakes don't we two small cakes um, sandwiches tomatoes apples chocolate strawberries milk juice and water now what you have to do is listen when i play the sound and if they have got, have they got, if they have got cakes, then you tick cakes in the box. If they haven't got cakes, then just not do anything. Okay, leave the box empty. Okay, so let's, um, let's try that now. Listening 2.48. Listen and tick. Let's play football. No, I'm hungry. I want to have lunch. OK. Have you got the picnic bags? Yes, they're here, next to the car. I'm putting the rug under the tree. Is that OK? That's fine. OK. And here's the chair. Can I sit on the chair, Dad? No, you can't. That's my chair. You can sit on the rug. OK. Are the sandwiches in the red bag? No, they're in the blue bag. Are there any cheese sandwiches? No, but we've got tuna sandwiches. Here you are. Oh, good. I like tuna. Thanks. Do you want a tomato? Yes, please. What else have we got? Is there any chocolate? No, there isn't any chocolate. Sorry. But there are some strawberries. Great. I love strawberries. And there's some juice. Do you want some juice? No, thanks. Can I have some water? Of course. Here you are. Thank you. I'm thirsty. Right, so now what I would like you to do is to answer this, these questions. I would like you to say, if I say cakes, then you answer by saying there is some cakes, there are some cakes, there isn't any cakes, or there aren't any cakes. So, cakes, who can start? Maya. Maya? There isn't any cake. You can say there isn't any cake, or there aren't any cake cakes, because <clears throat> cake's a funny one. Cake is like bread, so usually it's uncountable. But if it's small cakes like these, like cupcakes, then we could say countable. So, yeah, that's okay. Right, so no cross in the box there for that one. Uh, no tick in the box, sorry, for that one. 
Okay, sandwiches. And, uh, and uh, there are some sandwiches. Yeah, there's some. Uh, there's or there are. There. There are. There are some sandwiches because they are countable. Okay. Tomatoes. Come on. UT. UT? There are tomatoes. There are some tomatoes. Tomatoes, yeah. Okay. Apples. Apples. Right, because this is going a bit slow, students, you can answer two times if you like. So Maya, you can answer again. Come on, apples, who's answering? Japan. Okay, Japan. Water. Apples, not water, apples. Bim. Bim. They haven't got any apples. Oh, you're going from here. They haven't got any apples. So what I wanted you to say was there are some apples, okay? But they haven't got any apples. Is correct. Or there aren't any apples. So no tick in that box. Correct. Okay. Chocolate. And uh, And uh, There isn't any chocolate. There isn't any chocolate. Is correct. So no tick in the box there. Strawberries. Uh, Troy, was it? Uh, there's some strawberry. There's some strawberries. No. There are some strawberries, not theirs. Strawberries are countable. There are some strawberries. Okay. Milk. Pet. Pet. There's some milks. There's some milk. No, there's no milk. So there, there isn't any milk. There isn't any milk. Beauty, can you do the juice, please? There, there is some juice. There is some juice or there's some juice. Okay. And water? Maya. Maya? There's some water. There's some water. Okay, okay. Now, what you can do at home, if you like, you can do this. You can do it on your own, but it's better if you can do it with a friend or somebody from your family, maybe your mum or your dad or somebody. Um, just the picture. No reading. Just picture. And you can say... There are some cake. No, there aren't any cakes, but there are some sandwiches. Or you could say there is some cake. There isn't any cake, but there are some sandwiches. And then we can go down here. You just choose two anything, really. You can choose tomato, water. You could say there are some tomatoes and there is some water or you could choose juice and milk you could say there is or there's some juice but there isn't any water uh, milk sorry <laughs> there is some juice but there isn't any milk or you could choose chocolate and strawberries you could say there isn't any chocolate, but there are some strawberries. Okay, now that's a good exercise you can do.
just to practice your thinking in English, making up, make thinking of the words and the sentence in English, and to practice with this: is some, are some, isn't any, aren't any. Okay, that's something you could do, just as like a game, if you like, in your free time. Right. So we now move down to here, and we're going to make sentences from this line and add in the line from A or B. So if you think A is the answer, you circle A. You can use a color pencil if you like, any color you like, or you circle B. So we listen again. We listen again now, and you circle the answers. Listening two point forty eight. Listen and tick. Let's play football. No, I'm hungry. I want to have lunch. Okay. Have you got the picnic bags? Yes, they're here, next to the car. I'm putting the rug under the tree. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. And here's the chair. Can I sit on the chair, Dad? No, you can't. That's my chair. You can sit on the rug. Okay. Are the sandwiches in the red bag? No, they're in the blue bag. Are there any cheese sandwiches? No, but we've got tuna sandwiches. Here you are. Oh, good. I like tuna. Thanks. Do you want a tomato? Yes, please. What else have we got? Is there any chocolate? No, there isn't any chocolate. Sorry, but there are some strawberries. Great. I love strawberries. And there's some juice. Do you want some juice? No, thanks. Can I have some water? Of course. Here you are. Thank you. I'm thirsty. Right. Students who always answer questions. Give the other students a chance to answer first. Okay, don't just start shouting your name. Wait a little bit. Let other students try. Okay, because sometimes I just hear "anda anda anda" or "beauty beauty beauty," and I don't I don't hear the other students who are trying. So just just wait a little bit. Okay, so number one. Bim. No, Bim, you can wait as well. I, w I would like Bim, Maya, and, uh, and Beauty just to wait a little bit. Another student. Number one. Okay, Bim, nobody's answering, so you can do no, number one. No, man doesn't want to play football. Again, please, Bim. The man doesn't want to play football. Okay. Don't don't uh, unmute and mute your microphone so quickly because it cuts. The man doesn't want to play football, so we circle A with any color you like. Okay, number two. Pet. Pet. Oh. The boy puts the rock next to the car. Good reading, but the wrong answer because the boy puts the rug under the tree. Well done. Well done. The boy puts the rug under the tree, not next to the car. But good for trying. Okay. Three. Oh. Troy. Yes. 
The boy wants to sit under. Chair. The boy wants to sit on the chair is correct. Yeah. He sits on the rug, but he wanted to sit on the chair. He wanted. Past tense. Remember that? Okay, number four. Maya. Wait, Maya. Anyone else? Okay, Maya, number four. The sandwiches are in the blue bag. Good. The sandwiches are in the blue bag. Okay. Number five. And okay, Ander, you can do five. The boy doing some water. That's a funny number five. That was number six. The boy drinks some water. Okay, so uh, Beauty, you can do number five. The boy eats tuna sandwich. The boy eats a tuna sandwich, yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Right, is there any other student who would like to read one of these who has not answered a question? Who would like to read up to you, one, two, three, four, five, or six. Anyone? No. All right. So maybe you have problems with your microphone or something. Right. What I'd like you all to do now is to close your books, please. Close your books. Good. Thank you, Bim. Yep, close your books. Put your books down. And I'm going to talk to you about this. We're going to do this a speaking activity. So a speaking activity, we don't need to have your book open, do we? There's some bread. There are some tomatoes, there are some strawberries, there's some cheese, there aren't any apples, there isn't any chocolate. See this? So I would like you to just think, think of something that could go in here for your picnic. Now, Who can think of something? There's some. Who can think of a sentence? Speaking. Who can think of a sentence? There's some. It's up to you. Your picnic. Anything. Anything you like or anything you think you might take for your picnic. There's some. Can somebody say? Anda. Anda, what would you say? There's some. There's some cake, some sandwiches, and some cheese. There's some cake, comma, sandwiches, and cheese. No. Because you've gone uncountable, countable, uncountable. No. This is uncountables. So you can't have sandwiches on this line, can you? That was too much. Somebody else. Maya, say something. There's some. Um... There are some bread and some cheese. There's some bread and some cheese. Yes, you could have that. All right. So I'm going to say there's some water and orange juice. All right, it's what I say. Books closed. I don't want anyone copying this. Next, there are some. What couldn't go here? Who can give me an answer? Katia. Katia, what would you say? There are some. There are some hamburgers. Ah, that's a good one. Hamburgers. Yeah, hamburgers is a good answer. 
something different from the book. Anyone else can think of something? Maya. Maya, what would you say? There are some pizza and some strawberries. Um, pizza. I think pizza is uncountable. There's some pizza. But strawberries, yes. Strawberries, yes. Pizza, no. All right. So I, I just put there are some tuna sandwiches. So I, I actually have things from the book. But um, you can, if you think of things that are not in the book, that's better. Right. Let's have some something here. There are or there is, because on a picnic. Anything else? All right, all right, I will show you. So I got there are some strawberries and some tomatoes, okay? Now, here I would like negatives, a negative uncountable and a negative countable. So a negative uncountable could be something like there isn't any milk or chocolate and a negative countable there aren't any apples or cake so this is my picnic this is what there is or there are here and then the last two there isn't, there aren't. So, I want you to think, write down on a piece of paper what you have in your picnic. And think of what you have in your picnic, foods and drink, things you like. And then you can write some sentences. It can be ice cream, hamburgers, fish. It can be um, coconut, bananas, remember you're in Thailand, pineapple, anything. And then some things that you don't have for your, for your picnic. So when you have, and then you write sentences like this about your picnic. Now, you can start that now, but I don't think you're going to finish now. So your homework is to write about a picnic, your picnic. Do not send your pictures online. Do not send the pictures on the group line because we're going to check this tomorrow. We're going to check this tomorrow. Do we understand? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you can start now. Who can think of something just to say while you're while you're thinking? Who can say something about your picnic? What beauty. do you think? Yeah, beauty. What do you say? There aren't any watermelon or cookies. Yeah, there aren't any watermelons or cookies. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a, that's countable. Negative, there aren't any. Good. Anyone else can give me ideas? Who can say something, what you think about your picnic? Anda. Yes, Anda, say something. There are some chocolate and cake. Yes, yes, you can have that. There's some chocolate and cake. Anyone else think of something? Instead of cheese sandwiches or tuna sandwich, you could have crocodile sandwiches. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. Just think of something. Anyone else? Ice cream, Pepsi, Cola. Who? 
Ah, say. Ah, say, yeah. Yes. There's some cheese and ice cream. There's some cheese and ice cream. Very good. Yeah, because both of those can be uncountable. There's some cheese and ice cream. Maybe you have chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream. Mmm, yummy, yum, yum. Anyone else? Think Maya. Some? Maya? There are some pizza and strawberry ice cream. Yes. Yeah, that's a very good one. There's some pizza and strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Very good. Any, anyone else can think of an answer? Pet. Pet? Patch? There are some character and french fries. There's some french fries and what? Again, please. There are some cracker and french fries. Ah, crackers. Yeah, yeah, good. There's some crackers and french fries. Yes. Yes. Okay, so... Um, you can all just finish that as a kind of homework, but don't have to don't send me a picture online. Just think of your own picnic, what you have, what you don't have. Write it in your book and we will check some of those answers when we have class tomorrow. And I just have one question for you before you go. What am I? I am not very big, but not very small. I'm very hard. I am green on the outside. But if you take off my coat, I am brown. And if you open me, I am white. Right, I'm something. Not... Yeah. Trees. Say again. Trees. Trees. No, I'm smaller than trees. Ufa. All right. Ufa. I... Yes, Yufa. It's time. No, I am round, I am hard, king, I wear a green coat, but I'm not an animal, you know, I'm something you can eat. I wear a green coat, take off my coat, and I am brown. Anda. Open me, and I am white. Anda. Bean. No, I'm bigger than a bean, bigger than a bean. If I fall on your head, you go out. Our. Okay, I live Maple. in a. Huh? Maple. Maple, yeah? Durian. No. I live in a tree. And I am round. And hard. And I am green. But when I fall down, you take off my coat, and I am brown. And then you open me, and I am white. Maple. Maple. Coconut. A coconut is the answer. Correct. A coconut. It wears its green coat, doesn't it, while it's up in the tree? And then you take off the green coat and you have the brown coconut. <laughs> and you open the brown coconut and you have the white coconut inside that you can eat. Yummy, yum, yum. Okay, that's all for today. Bye-bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.